when you use words and you're angry with somebody, you nitpick them. Y'all can say nothing right there. You find every little flaw they got. Every time I turn around, well, I don't know why you just didn't pick up that little lint off the floor. You can't even see the lint, but they nitpick it. You know, say, why you pick the little lint? You know, say, every time I turn around, every time I turn around, you got to get in the bed and got to always have one foot on the bed and one foot out of the bed. You know what I'm saying? Nitpicking. Nitpicking. You're nitpicking because really now the problem is not with the individual. It's with you. So now here come the words out of your mouth. So what you're doing, instead of building your marriage, you are destroying it. Instead of building your partner, you're tearing down your partner. Instead of trying to understand your partner, you don't want to know nothing. So what's happening is you tear the person down with your mouth. And then you'll wonder, why don't they respond the way I want them to? Come tearing them down with my mouth. So your words are powerful. I know, I know, I know we remember watching Good Times. And, and what, what was the little baby boy on Good Times? What was his name? Michael said, sticks and stone may break my bones, but words never hurt me. Y'all remember that, that one scene? And, and, then, and listen, and it all sounds good because we as black people was all clapping. But the reality is that's not true. See, sticks and stones will break your bones and words will hurt you too. They will hurt you too. Words can snatch your confidence. It can snatch your peace. It can snatch your healing. It can snatch your deliverance. It can snatch your forgiveness. It can snatch everything that God has for you because of the words that come out of your mouth. 